Forget dinner. We got a cheaper option. Welcome to the show, Rice and Beans. On your right, we got some great succulent, juicy jasmine rice. On your left, you got that spicy, tangy pinto beans. In the house, we're talking politics, we're talking fire trucks, we're talking anything. Welcome to the show. And I'm an actor, so you should listen to what I have to say about politics. This is Rice and Beans! Welcome to the show, Rice and Beans. All right, so I want to start on what's on everyone's mind is uh, COVID and actors. <laughs> what, and, what, and no, no, there's a part two. It's co- coronavirus what? and how we're annoyed about actors talking about coronavirus. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, well, I've got a lot of thoughts, and I'm an actor, so obviously everything I say is very important and must be true. So, I don't know. My opinion on coronavirus is... Buckle up, buckaroo. It's going to be here for a while. Stay the fuck away from me. I'm going to have a little stick to beat people if you come in my little bubble, man. I don't know. I think it, the one good thing of a pandemic, I've always hated someone standing up my ass at the checkout line anyway. Like, why do you need to be so damn close standing up my ass? <laughs> it's not going to make the person checking out in front of me go any quicker. So this is like the one good thing about COVID. We gotta look on the bright side of death. I mean, but at the same time, you're right. So we're more antisocial, but at the same time, there's like that hate is brewing up, and so, uh, like, yeah. So what? At what point do you think we're gonna go full out revolution? And also, at what what side do you think actors will really like be welcomed by the resistance, or will actors be like first on the gu- guillotine? I think it depends on the actor. It really depends on the actor. That's like, very true. That's very true. I, I don't know. I I, th- I think. Definitely, that cash me outside bitch is getting. Is so getting she's getting it. Oh, dude! If, if, if the world goes to hell, she's little really Zan. People, people, little Tay, yeah, her little Tay, all those fucking people. Oh I yeah, that's a little Zan. Little Tay, I think. Little, little, little Tay, people will embrace her. She's like a she's a product of her environment. She's young. If your name starts with little, you're, you're yeah, you're Lil Wayne. Not <laughs> Lil Wayne's not gonna good. have to go. But who's making it? Who's because I think I think you're I think the funny ones. Like you're fun, I think people connect with you. But I think kind of like the cute ones are going to go, like Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home yeah, Improvement. Yeah. I, I mean, I did have his picture on my wall, and I'm, I'm, I might have, you know. Nothing against him. him. I'm, I don't know him. He's, a, he's I, too he's cute. He's a very attractive boy. You know, back, you know, back, <laughs> yeah. back in the day, you know, hey, I think everybody had the hots for JTT. I think people just want to ruin nice things right now. So I Hanks is getting it. Have you seen his Instagram page? Oh, like all of his comments are like he's they're going straight to Hanks's house. Like if you uh, if you want to like see the worst of humanity, go to check out Tom Hanks's Instagram comments. Well, dude, <laughs> they, treasure and like how the hell did this happen? Because people hate how, nice how, things. People hate nice he things. He's the nicest guy. <laughs> but he's been known. For, that, that's what I'm saying. I think that's been working against. We don't want. It's kind of like when you're out of a relationship and you don't want to see other couples. That's kind it's of what it's like. like. It's like, like Tom Hanks, don't give money to that homeless person. Fuck you. You're supposed to be an asshole right now. <laughs> like, don't tip. Don't tip Tom Hanks. It's kind of like it's kind of like like Mel Gibson. Yeah. You know, the guy's a crazy, fucking drunk, fucking raging asshole. Like we know what we get with Mel Gibson. Well, point proven. I think I think we didn't. He kind of was canceled. Like people were like, we had enough with you, Mel Gibson. But he's been coming back recently. A lot really? of <laughs> and like big studio movies. I think right now people just don't we want nice. What we get. Yeah, I mean, with Mel Gibson, it's like we know what we get. He might yeah. he might fucking yell and say a bunch of fucking racist and probably show up drunk a couple times, but we know what we're gonna I'm, get. I'm it. Jewish. I love Apocalypto. Like you can't yeah, not like I that mean, movie. Tom Hanks, and he brings he's it. Gonna, he's just gonna smile and be fucking nice to people and know his lines. Well, I think also that's why I, I'm a big believer that actors also have to be a writer or a director. Because if Hanks had more, like, pro, like if he had more, more director, it'd be harder to hate. You know, because he's like he's been like he's forced to be the nice guy a little bit. Because like yeah. if he if Tom Hanks had a few more villain roles, I think he'd make he'd make the because resi- he seems like a seems like a good dude. Oh my god, could you imagine him actually in a villain role though? He needs to. He needs to. Would, if he wants I'm to not- fucking live, Tom Hanks. If you want to live, you got to be just a terror like worse than Hannibal Lecter, like Buffalo Tom Bill. Hanks goes, Look, bitch, Buffalo I'm Bill. I'm the captain now, bitch. I'm the captain now. <laughs> if if you want to live. Tom Hanks, <laughs> you need to do some bad shit. <laughs> so yeah, beyond Corona, it's funny that Corona's happening. That like, you know, there's also an election that could change change things. What were your thoughts on the debate, the first debate? Oh, you mean you mean the monkeys slinging shit at each other? 
Yeah, no, I don't remember it. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, I saw it. I just don't remember it. And I was sober. I didn't drink. I had a beer. like a bunch of barking seals. It's what it went, just like... Yeah. Just barking seals. The whole first election. And I think the winner of the first, first, uh, of the first debate... Was probably China or Russia or <laughs> any of our closest cl- closest enemies, North Korea. That's who won the first election. Our our enemies. I, I think Biden won the debate because the expectations were like it's kind of like in a fight where like he, he needed to like get knocked out for like Trump Trump to win, and he just like you know he was looked at the camera, you know did his seal barking. They talked about absolutely nothing. I think Chris Wallace is mostly to blame for the bad debate because he was like a debater and was talking about stupid shit. Like Did we you want say policy. He was a master debater? No, he was the debater himself. Like he like really uh, inserted himself in, into the debate and didn't talk about like real didn't talk about the rice and beans. Didn't talk about the rice and bean issues that we need. Uh, the meat and potatoes. The rice and beans. Rice and beans. Rice and beans, man. Yeah, we gotta be rice for beans. the vegan Definitely. Well vegans are cool with beans. They gotta be. I don't know. Most of them. Even, unless there's no even animal. A, yeah. Even a carrot cries when you rip it from a ground, man. Absolutely. Yeah, carrots have feelings, too. A lot of nerve endings. Carrot lives matter. Just ask Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, oh, that's funny. But, uh... No, yeah, no, the debate, that was kind of, to me, kind of a sad. Like, I was really looking forward to it for years. Then it happened. And then within one minute, I'm like, this sucks. But, uh, does... Are, are we really surprised, though? We, we have a, a... You know, a game show host president... Well, I was talking to, like, actually uh, to my uncle about that earlier today, about how, uh, like, it used to be presidents, used to be, like, generals or, like, statesmen forever. And I think starting since, like, Clinton, maybe arguably Reagan, like, is kind of where you you had more just, like, presidents became more, like, speech guys and, like, like the guy that I want to have a beer with instead of, like, the chief general or administrator, mm-hmm. you know, like, Calvin, Calvin Coolidge, <laughs> like was known for like never speaking that sort of thing and now they are just kind of actors like bush well, was the guy you want to have a beer with even though he's a governor well i think there should, there should be a mix of both you know yeah. we look at, let's look at the supreme court let's look at america let's look at congress it doesn't really look like america i don't think congress it's definitely i don't know man i think the average age of america is 79 like most yeah. people, I, I most people I talk to are seventy five years old and millionaires, right? I don't know. America's not no, as kidding. white <laughs> as, as as Congress, though. There is, yeah. you know, I, I really think, you know, and religion. Let's there's someone. Well, no, and professions. Like they're all like they all kind of have law lobbyist background, which is good. But you don't want the same shit. Congress is supposed to be like average people. They're like, I know about this random niche issue because I'm a pl- I'm, I'm Joe the plumber. You know, everybody is always screaming about, you know, representation absolutely matters. Yeah. Well, what about atheists and agnostics on the Supreme Court? You know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe they wouldn't have to work so hard to, you know, t- take a, you know, separate church and state if they don't believe in a church. Well, are, like, do we really know if they're atheists or agnostics? Like, because I think they just all kind of just say that, say that, you know, it's kind of like they need to get on. Like, who really knows? Yeah. <laughs> like, who really knows what's going on behind Kagan's closed doors or John Roberts? They, yeah, you know, they could be yeah. Satanists. That's what that's what Q's saying. So, who knows? Oh God! Well, <laughs> that I'm eating and raping babies. You know, yeah. I, I would, well, no, that's actually going to lead to like there's a lot of debate about religious, uh, like status because of the Church of Satan. And they've been the epic like horrible trolls, where they're like putting their shit up everywhere and being like, "We're religion. What do you can do about it?" Well, fuck it, you know. It's happening. You, you can't pick and choose your religion, homie, because guess what? That's just your opinion, bruh. <laughs> well, and laws, like, are complicated, and we don't have the smartest people doing it. Like, I went to, I was in D.C., like, before the pandemic, you know, before the pandemic. You know, gotta be mm-hmm. safe here. And, uh, like, my, my vibe was a lot of Congress people aren't, are kind of checked out. Like, all they do is fundraise, and they don't, like, I met, a, like, Charlie Chris. Like, you were a great guy, Charlie, if you're watching this. But he did not see, like, he seemed like, <laughs> he didn't seem like he was using all, all that was in there. It just sounded like simple things. And there was a lot of them that are just, like, these guys are really old people that are, like, connected and good at fundraising, and, like, no one really knows who they are. And there's no chance these guys are running the country. It's, like, well, really the assistants and, like, the, the, you know, the legislative aides. I really don't think the um, average voter really watches 
you know, the debates and stuff like us, dude. I, oh, I no. think everything's kind of condensed into a five second soundbite <laughs> on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and that's what people see. I think most people are three issue voters too. That's my my theory. Is that uh, it, it, it's different per, person to person, and they're just like, I don't give a shit. He's for this. He's no, for the vast this. majority of people are not as politically active, probably as I am. Yeah, but they're yeah. probably like a passionate about one random thing for a good yeah. reason, like because they're healthcare, they don't healthcare debt, or like healthcare or abortion, or or they're a private or, contractor, just like random right. stuff. Yeah, random shit. Yeah, they're in a union. Because of marijuana. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And they're like, I disagree with him on everything, but he's going to get me that marijuana license, so let's go. And so I I, I think, you know, and I I can't blame anyone for voting in their own self interest. And what are your thoughts on this? If you don't vote, that, you know, that's your right too. What are your thoughts on that? I would not suggest it because there's a lot of elections. People just think there's one and there's like referendums and stuff, so I would be, I wouldn't suggest it, but like, do you? I've. I mean, I'm a little old school, I guess, on yeah. this one. I, b- I believe everybody should vote. Yeah, because, no, for sure. You know, what we had to go through to, you know, make sure we have a right to vote. Even if you don't agree with, you know, the Electoral College and, if, you know, let's say you're a Republican yeah. in California. Fucking, yeah, okay, your vote's probably not going to count. However, should doesn't mean that you shouldn't vote. Oh, you should vote, for sure. If you're listening, yeah. vote. I'm, I'm a, like, and people love when celebrities tell people to vote. So thanks for doing that. We're gonna get some views in here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but we know we know you so for sure. I can like, it's like it's like it's like this is your time to really fight the power. And like, if anything, just vote no against all the judges. That's what I do. That's a lot of fun. And if you're a judge and watching this, I didn't say that. Or, but, uh, <laughs> man, you're a, you're a Lyft driver in California. There's there's a there's definitely a proposition on the California ballot. Uh, you know that people that take Lyft and Uber or drive there, uh, use it, sh- should be voting on. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes on 22 is um, going to make it here in California uh, overtime and, and uh, paid time off for Lyft drivers. But, you know, let's be honest here. A lot of people use or drive Lyft because of the independence, being able to work when they want to work. Yeah. So... You know, that's definitely a complex issue with a lot of people. A lot of people want health care and overtime. A lot of people like to work when they want to work. So we got me in the middle because I do think you can't go to, like, Upton Sinclair, like, factory world. And you also can't go to, like, communist, control everything. You got me in the middle. Got me in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you. Don't cut off people's ears. Oh, or their heads. Speaking of that, yeah. that's a good set of segue. Yeah. Um, so late last night near Paris, um, a, fr- a French high school teacher has his head chopped off because he showed his class a couple caricatures of Mohammed, the, the prophet. I saw so, that. The, the prophet Mohammed, just so they don't come for me too. <laughs> yeah. I am so mad at that story, at that second grader that snitched on that teacher. Like, what a terrible... Like, Muhammad's definitely anti-snitch. Like, I know he's not for putting his face out there, but he's also against snitches. And I think it was, yeah, one kid in the class, like, just told the community, and then they cut his head off. Let's put this here in perspective for yeah. Americans, though, because everybody thinks, well, this is Europe, you know, this only happens there. We, you know, we had the bombing in Brussels. Now it seems like radical Islam is becoming something that a lot of Americans don't think about anymore, and we don't remember 9-11. Um... Mm-hmm. Well, well, I hear, well, like, so I'm, a, I'm, I'm Jewish, so, like, I should hate, like, there should be kind of, but I got a lot of, like, so much respect for Islam, and I think, I think just in 2020, it's, like, extreme radicalization just everywhere. Like, even just, like, even people that are into Beanie Babies are, like, becoming radicalized and shit. <laughs> like, Pokemon Go might, like, cut someone's, a developer's head off because they changed the, whatever, they changed the layout of Facebook. Oh, the, the girl that shot up YouTube because they, YouTube didn't, took her ad money off, remember that? Yes! Yeah, no, so I think, so, you know, so I think you're, t- like, I'm not, don't want to dismiss it, because religious, in, in, like, religious extremism is very prevalent, and also, like, cult, like, the semi-quasi-religions, like, Joan People's Temple, that sort of thing. I mean, we'll probably get demonetized for talking about this anyway. So yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. But, like, I, I want to say that it's not unique. It's not unique. Like, it's, like, it's, it's there, but, like, you're seeing it in the Pokemon. If you're seeing, like, dude, there was a gamer, a Twitcher, that shot up a thing. Because he was mad how the competition went. Wow! Oh, so it's not that's even not, just religion anymore. It's is we got fucking crazy people on 
Maybe, maybe game. because we're too domesticated. Like, because we're just, we're too, like, I happy. Think, or I like, think everybody just needs to stop and kind of call out crazy. Yeah. Like, and, and we, ha- we have it in every religion. We have it in every fundamentalist religion. We have it in Christians with the fucking... Oh, the Kansas know, people, religious. the God hates gay people, that those people. Yeah, with with Kim Davis. And, yeah. You know we uh, uh uh we um this ambulance driver, fucking uh, private ambulance driver, out in Kentucky, thought this one kid was gay and wouldn't give him a ride to the to the hospital because he was wearing a polo shirt and they thought the kid was gay. And since it's a private company and I got my religious freedom, you know I don't have to give him a, a ride to the hospital. Because the polo. No, yeah, because he thought it was, you know, gay because, you know, wearing a polo shirt. Yeah. Polos aren't gay. That's ridiculous. No, I'm kidding, but that's, yeah. that's terrible. Sorry for his loss. I know. It's, yeah. it's, so it's, Kanye wears polos. No, but nothing wrong with being gay either. I'm just saying. But we have this in Judaism. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The one fucking flight the other day was held up because uh, men wouldn't sit next to the women in the flight. And we had to, you know, figure that out. Yeah. So, and we had it. We have it in in Islam with fucking just yesterday with this uh, cartoon beheading. Yeah. You know. So I think just we all, as as people, need to call out crazy shit whenever we see it. It doesn't matter who you pray to. If you pray on your knees, or you, or you don't eat a goat, or you don't eat a, a bacon, or whatever the yeah. hell it is. Just extremism is extremism. I think Taylor Swift said it best that you need to calm down. You're getting too loud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Shake Uh-oh. it off. Shake it that off. That too. That Ooh. too. Like, she's awesome. Like, she could talk. Like, how about that? Like, how about this? How about if someone, like, disagrees with you politically, you could still like their shit? Like, because I'm on the right. Taylor Swift's on the left. She's awesome. Like, and if I, and I, and if, like, on the right, this, if you have to just, if you're on the right and you can't watch stuff of people that disagree with you, you got to turn off your TVs and, like, every album. Because, <laughs> like, the, the left is winning the, the artistic culture war. I hate to say it. We need some more Republican comedians. And, and I still like the Cosby show. He's not, is, is he a Republican? He's just, like, a hater. Like, he was always no, just, like, the older... Um, before, like, rapist, serial rapist. But also he was always, like, kids with the high pants listening to loud music, got the skateboards. Like, he was, like, a Gran Torino forever. Even when he was young. He was, like, like picking Michael fights Jackson with uh, Pryor. You know? It's like someone made a joke the other day about how, you know, you know, I'll always love, you know, Billy G by Michael Jackson, but now when I listen to Pretty Young Thing by Michael Jackson, it just doesn't sound right now. Yeah, and no, I I used to be a Michael guy and then now I'm becoming a Prince guy cuz it's like that documentary, I I couldn't even get through it. I'm just like, ugh, I'm out. And it could be total yeah, bullshit. I, it could be total I, bullshit. I know, it just I, it just it puts a bad taste in your mouth. Especially when it's like <laughs> you want to rephrase that, Max? It, you want to rephrase that, buddy? It, I can't. <laughs> like, it's not. It, it's just bad taste in your mouth. Mo- See, fuck you, Michael. <laughs> fuck you, Joe. Joe's the piece of shit. <laughs> like Joe started it, but uh, uh, he's uh, great. Like his music's great. Joe. It's tough because Woody Allen was one of my favorites, and it's, I haven't seen one of his movies in a while because it's just like, like Manhattan. Try watching that one again. Like, he's dating an eighteen year old. He's forty. I know, but yet you know he's uh, great. You know, Caitlyn Jenner can be woman of the year, even though she you know killed a person drinking and driving just because she had a sex change. You know. Oh, that's kind of that's something too that I like to talk to about where it's just kind of like I've noticed that where like on the left, don't take in piece of shit conservatives just because they hate Trump. They're like they're literally like war criminals, like Bill Crystal, like like all the people that like made up that Iraq had WMDs now hate Trump, and the left's like that's my hero, like go John Kasich, Lehman Brothers two thousand seven, go Bill Crystal, we love Bush, woo! It's like what the fuck? Just cause just cause someone doesn't like, you know, the enemy of the enemy is my friend. Nah, screw that. It's it, it's you know we're literally lower the bar so much we are tripping over it now. Is what has happened with our entertainment and our news cycle absolutely and so that's why i see you think you see stuff that are blogs that aren't credible at all are like well they're like their batting average is better than cnn so i'm gonna go to you know Infowars or whatever you know it's just yeah. it's, i think it's I, I think it's just you know education it really is yeah. I, uh, there was media a literacy that, should be like taught in schools yeah uh, they were asking people if they thought they should uh, bomb um uh, Agrabah uh, about a week ago 
Agrabah is that one city in fucking Aladdin. It's not a real city. And yeah. The majority of people were saying, yeah, let's go bomb Agrabah. Yeah. Are, are hydrocarbon, or what, what they, they say they're talking about H2O? <laughs> they say that's the leading cause of death. H2O. Yeah. It sucks. It really, really sucks. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Yo, Mama was saying, yeah, that's one of my favorites. But uh, I think I think we got a good a good chunk of stuff. This was the first show. If you like the show, like, subscribe, share, send us money, send us words of encouragement. Destroy Stop that like and sub- destroy that like and subscribe button. Destroy <laughs> it for it. the algorithm. You and gotta I'm- destroy for the algorithm. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna continue to talk about politics. So sorry about that in advance. And we're gonna have a lot. So you know, we are recording this on the seventeenth. We don't know when it's going to be uploaded. We're going to try to get it out as quick as possible. Who knows what's going to happen? So if the world ends tomorrow, it was nice knowing you. Well, yeah, thanks, everyone. That's rice and beans. Everybody, keep your finger on your pulse or right up your ass. Till next time, rice and beans.